What's up guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? How you guys doing? How you guys doing? How you guys doing? It's been a minute. It's been um, like a week or so. Gil, what's happening, man, bro? So it's been like a week um, <coughs> since we did our last session, um, you know. So if you were in the, in the previous week's session, you probably do know that we did, um, you know, like some work on the charts and, um, you know, I still have, have the same charts. I still have the same charts that we did in the previous week. And, you know, it's still pretty much, uh, holding, um, as predicted. So everything that we spoke about still pretty much, uh, moving the same way. So I want to do like a pre New York session breakdown with you guys, because, you know, I do think that there's, there's like a lot of volatility in the markets, uh, you know, in the session that we're headed to. So this is what I want to do with you guys. I hope this is going to be worth, worth your while, um, you know. This is not a pimple, bro. It's not a pimple, actually. I don't have a pimple. It's just a reflection of some lights that I do have uh, here. So let me just do this. Uh, I actually don't have a pimple. Uh, let me just do this, change the filter, maybe to a different cool one that we do have. So let's see. It's this light that's hitting my face that makes me look like I've got a pimple on my face But I actually don't have a pimple. This one makes me look a bit um, I don't know so this this looks a bit more realistic uh, Let me just do this mm, I like really like yeah Yeah Let's just stick to let's just stick to what we know. Uh, let me see what filter we can put on. These filters aren't nice at all. So okay, so we've got uh, US thirty that we're gonna look at. So this is exactly what we spoke about the previous week, and you know the markets have really been playing out extremely nice and really dope to see so this has been really good and beautiful to see especially because we've been uh you know on this cycle that we have been in for the past couple of uh, weeks so this is going to be very nice to like uh you know see so i spoke about us 13 in the previous week and i'm going to show you guys exactly how it is right now what we're looking at so that you guys can probably trade with me right now when we are taking this specific trade so remember on the previous live breakdown that we did um i did mention that us 30 was going to go retest a level which was around thirty three thousand four hundred obviously to drop to 32,800. So that's what we had seen um, in the markets in the previous live session that we did host. So I'm going to take it from there, uh, maybe take it to the top to see if there's anything that you guys can really spot and identify from, from what we had spoken about. So this is what we do have now. So let me show you what we have, right? So we spoke about this last week, right? Let me just wipe my camera. So we spoke about this last week, right? So uh uh nigga tease, nigga tease, nigga tease. So we spoke about this last week and uh you know surely surely man surely man I see you senior man how far how far how you day brother uh so this is what we had in the past week when uh, the market was around here. So I think the market was around here. I did mention that we were gonna see the pullback to that area and obviously now see that drop. So last week we rejected off of the lows. Um, you know, NFP literally pushed us to the upside. So obviously the market has to come down to grab liquidity if we're ever gonna go up. So this was a beautiful trade. So if you were on last week's live, you would have gotten this specific trade from this level exactly to the target that we did have. So the reason why then I spoke up 
about this target was obviously because I had told you guys that the market was sort of like ranging around the, the, the two highs and lows. These were obviously derived from the higher time frame, right? So we did have the H4 time frame that we were looking at. So I did speak about these highs and their significance in the markets. And I did speak about these lows as well and their significance in the markets as well. And right, so the market obviously pushed from the highs, came back to this level that mentioned that we were gonna pull back a bit to maybe see a further drop to the downside so that that really happened to the t uh i don't know what happened i don't know what happened but let's wait a bit for me to maybe restart is my laptop even charging most of the time okay it is charging so i'll just wait for it to come back a bit so as, as i said last week uh that was like the levels we were looking at to maybe see like further rejections to the downside and obviously the market did exactly as we had predicted which was beautiful to see and then nfp came uh you know when nfp came we saw a uh, rejection off of the the lows in the market and that's why then we saw um the market push up you know the way it did so right now i want to take you guys through today's movement and what i'm seeing for today and Hopefully you guys can grab a couple of points in this current move that we do have uh, coming. So I'm going to remove this person that says I'm high from this live. Um, I don't want anyone else asking me if I'm high because I've told you guys countless times that I don't smoke weed. You guys keep on asking me the same thing. So next person to ask if I'm high is going to be removed for good from my lives because i can't deal with that energy so you know we're gonna we're gonna look at the at the markets right now see potential trades that we can take together in this new session that's coming the new york sessions are obviously around 3 30 uh you know that's where we'll be seeing major moves in the markets so we're gonna try to take them together and you know see uh, whether we can capitalize and maximize on those uh, specific moves. So I'll just restart on my laptop right now. Um, and then, yeah, let's just wait for it to come back. Um, and then we'll see if we do see anything uh, that we can take together on the live. Right? So let's just see what we have let's just see what we have my laptop was low guys i switched it off since that day you know i personally use trade 245 to trade so yeah that's the broker we're using trade 245 oh my goodness my god my god my god so Let's wait and see. It's like literally eight minutes to the New York Open. So we'll see what kind of formations we can expect and what kind of moves we can expect in the New York session. Geletto, how you doing, my boy? See you, bro. I see you. I see you. Miss you, dog. I haven't seen you in such a long time. Hope you're well. And I hope everything is going well there. Congratulations once again, you know. You know, you know, you know, my dog. Go live on Thursday CPI, so I won't have the time to be live, if I'm being honest. I'll be trading myself, um, and you know how quick that event is. I might go live probably before, but not on the actual event. So, but if you truly understand everything that I'm talking about right now, you should be able to trade CPI with no hassles. So, yeah. Let's do this. Let's get it. Hop at the six defense research. Uh, okay, let me do this and then um, we go live. Let's go live. Let's go live on uh, the moves that we're expecting for today um, and see if we can probably maximize on the trades that we are currently looking at. So, yeah, uh, this is what we have here. And then, yeah, I'll just show you guys my screen right now. So, this is a dope 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 breakdown that we do have on this trade that we are looking at so yeah and then we have this as well 
so uh, let me just yeah so we've got these areas right that we're looking at and that's what we're gonna try and trade for this specific session that's coming so let me just fix this quickly and then we can rock together okay so this is what we do have over here i just want to make this chart exactly the same way it looked like before my laptop switched off because wow guys this thing really decided to switch to remove my work and my drone that i had not not entirely removed but i think it saved the previous the previous charts i had um, so i'm trying to draw the same thing that I, I had spoken about with you guys just so you guys can can understand exactly what i'm looking at so yeah uh, so let's check um, what we do have so what is this person saying um, supply and demand be spotted on lower time frames no bro i don't think i don't think um, that's that's wise to use like a smaller time frame for such things that you're trying to see so that's this is what we have right so this is what we have in the markets right now so we've got um, you know obviously as i did say this was exactly what we were looking at let me just do this to maybe yeah have a little bit of privacy on what i'm looking at so right now we do have obviously the market was ranging so if you look at this we've got the high the low we've got the high we've got the low we've got the high the low so obviously the highs um this price over here so if you look at the price tag here so we're looking at this specific price so if we're saying uh, 33,430 rounded off, right? So if we're saying 33,430 rounded off has been the highs that the markets have been failing to break and 33,830 rounded off as well has been the lows that the, let me just do this actually just so um, we're on the same level. So 33,830. So let's just round it off to 830 beautiful and then let's round this off to 840 let's make it 840 uh, no 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 33,420 uh, sorry so let's make it 420 okay and that's that's solid so we've got 420 uh, so we've got 420 and 830 right so we've got 420 and 830 so Bear in mind that these are the price levels that the market has been. So we've got we've got 420, we've got 830, right? So don't mind the don't mind the the, the ones and the sevens on the side. So let's just let's just run it off like that, right? So suppose now you've got this kind of an approach in the markets. So if we go to the H4 time frame, right, and we say that the markets have been trapped between um, you know, three four thirty three thousand four twenty and thirty two thousand eight thirty, right? So we've been trapped around these levels. Market tried to break out of this level, came back above, tested that level, pushed up, came back down to this level, pushed up to that level, came back down to this level, pushed up to that level, came back down to this level, pushed up to that level. But look at what happened over here, right? So we have what looks like you know a break of structure over here so we've got like what looks like a break of structure over there so i'm just going to use like a different color uh for this um uh, you know so i'm just going to use uh box region so nah box region is still the same color let me just use a different one so i want you guys to understand the concept that i'm trying to explain to you guys right now right so you guys can understand exactly how my mind kind of like works uh, so we've got the yeah so we've got this level right that that has been broken over there market went back to that high so i did have this weekly level so this is a level from the weekly time frame i drew this with you guys again the other day 
um, when I did say that we've got this level on the weekly. So if we look at the weekly, right, so this has been a weekly low that we've had for the longest time. So the market has been obviously spiking through this level. As you guys can see, we've got a little bit of rejection there, fake out of that level, rejection, 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 rejection as well. So this is like a serious and important level, right? Because we established support there and through that whole area, we've been able to see, uh, you know, significant rejections on that same area. So we do have like rejection over there as well, rejection over there as well. We do have uh, the market rejecting on this level, breaking above, retesting, going up and then coming back to close below, spikes on that level, then pushes down. So now this week's candlestick came again to that same level, right? So this is the same level that um, we have on the weekly time frame. So if we go down to the daily, the daily is even a lot more clearer because then when you look at the daily time frame, right? So you're able to see things a little bit in perspective from the daily that this has been a significant level and area in the markets for the past couple of months. So if you think about it, this has been there for, from 2021, right? So this has been a level that has been there from April 2021. So you can see this is like a strong level, right? So April 2021. Through the whole 2021, the market was not breaking past that level. So this is quite a strong level for US 30. Tried to break out of that level, came back above, came back below that level, came back to tap again on that level, came back again to tap that level once more. So right now, what we do have is the market now testing this particular level once again. So if we look at the structure that we do have over here, like we will notice that we've got you know, something like this that's um, sort of like forming. So we've got something like this that's forming in this market. So if you guys can see this, uh, you guys will be able to probably understand. So my my stance on this is that we're going to go down to that level, right? So this is, this is what I'm thinking is going to happen in this market. I mean, this is practically simplistic stuff that you you would obviously look at whenever you're looking at this particular market so we do have you know push pause push pause push kind of a situation that's going to play out so that's obviously from the from the daily you know uh that's obviously from the daily uh, time frame, right? So why go live instead of giving my students this analysis? So my students know exactly what to, how to do what I'm doing. So I'm giving free values. If you don't appreciate it, uh, you know, you're more than welcome to obviously exit the live. But anyway, going back to what we are doing and what we're focusing on, you do have this kind of a setup. So if you look at the setup, it's suggesting to me with yesterday's candle specifically that we do have, you know, um, strong selling pressure. So if you look at, at pressure, uh, you know, we're going to say that this this candlestick is suggesting that momentum to the upside has um, obviously failed. Um, and, you know, measuring the volume of this candlestick, this is the new stuff that all my students are going to know this year. So we're going to focus on volume, right? So in trading, we focus on two things, right? Uh, we focus on volume number one and the second one would obviously be mentioned to my students this uh year so we've got this huge 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 um you know rejection off of the highs so the fact that we've got that rejection on the highs means that the market is telling us something so the market is telling us a story right so you don't just look at these kind of candlesticks anywhere but you look at these kind of candlesticks obviously at important levels and we did have this candlestick at an important level end zone which happens to be that 33,800 level from the weekly so this is a supply and this is a demand level actually right so this is a supply level sorry so this is a supply level that we do have from the weekly time frame so uh that's what we are doing so we do have uh that demand level on that on that area so from that level we can then expect to see the market obviously you know pulling down to the downside so you can see that um that rejection that obviously happens on that area i mean you can see how even the past couple of weeks uh, the market has been behaving around that level it's either we get massive rejections over there or we get like a massive push to the upside on that same specific area so even here you can see massive drop from that level breaks out of that level massive push out of it and you can see how then that indecision candlestick was formed around that level so if we do break out of the 
surface level you can see the strength that's then used to break out of this level so from there we did see the market being uh thrown into the downside so this is sort of like my daily level so now what we do have here right so what we do have and what i'm going to look at right now so this is off of the daily time frame so we can see that you know we do have this major rejection off of the highs obviously uh with that pain bar candlestick that formed over there so obviously for me i look at volume and i look at the uh, strength of this candlestick and i can see that you know the market is currently rejecting off of the highs right now if we go to the more um you know the more practical and approachable um you know time frame that we do have which is obviously what we spoke about last week um, you can see you know what we do have right so what we do have here is that we've got this high that's holding on the specific market so we've got this uh, high over there high over there high over there high over there and we did see like a breakout so what really determines a breakout in any form of market what really determines whether um you know what really determines whether uh the level is broken or not so if we speak about breakouts right so you'd have this zone over here so if we speak about breakouts you'd have this zone and this is what you'd be looking for right so you'd be looking for the market to push up to that level maybe pull back a bit and then push out of that level so this doesn't constitute a breakout right because it can still come to close below and then pushes down right so this doesn't really uh, constitute a breakout so let me just start over i don't know what happened over there but i'm just using my 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 macbook's mouse so it's going to be a bit difficult to navigate and gravitate through certain tools that i'm trying to show you so what really uh, you know determines a breakout so that's what i was explaining um, you will see the market pushing to resistance pulling back pushing out of resistance and this then is what will constitute the break or the fake out right so the market has to get to this same broken level and then push up from this level so this is then what really determines a breakout right so if we see this kind of a setup when the market uh, comes to test this level and pushes up again then this is what will then um, you know regard as a breakout in a specific level but because then the market um, you know creates fake outs and stuff like that this formation could happen like this where we've got the market pushing to this level pulling back pushing out of that level instead of retesting this level closes down below comes back to retest and then goes down so all of this then becomes um you know let me just do this so all of this then becomes what we call a fake out right so this is what a fake out would be so in my terms and in what i understand this would be the fake out that we speak about so when we speak about fake outs this is what we're talking about when the market will come close above this high and come to close below this high and continue going down then all of this was a fake out of this specific price so coming back to the example that i'm trying to give you guys and what i'm trying to explain to you guys with this specific market we're looking at right so we've got this high that has been holding which i did say that this is daily 3420 right so that's the same price we're looking at so let's say this is 33420 so we've got that 33420 level so that 420 is a certain price that the market has been failing to break for the longest time this three three two eight thirty is a certain price that the market has been failing to break past for the longest time right so now if the market then breaks out of this level obviously there will need a bit of strength to obviously break out which we can see with the magnitude and the volume that was put into this specific trade pushed out of that level got to this weekly high which is obviously now an important high even from a high time frame came back to this low instead of closing above this level right we can see now this current candlestick breaking through that level closing below that zone right so if the market closes below this zone what does this mean this means that this zone wasn't entirely broken so we've got about 21 minutes so we've got about 21 minutes before this candlestick closes and if this candlestick does close then that that means this whole move to the upside was basically a fake out i mean you can see that on the daily time frame right so if, if we go to that daily 
and try and look at this so on the daily time frame what i was explaining is exactly what's happening so the retest candlestick if it closes below this level then we can see us 30 plummeting down to the downside again coming to test these lower levels and regions and then we can hope to see the market breaking out of the slow at least to create slightly lower lows so for trend line traders or pattern traders i think you guys have something like this um, in this trade i don't know i think you guys have something like this right so if you look at it in this perspective then you will understand that we've got what we call a bearish flag so that's also like a flag this is what i just bought it now on the daily so we've got like a flag so this is a bearish flag that's what we call a bearish flag so if you trade patterns and all all those kind of things um we trade you know so you you'll see and identify a bearish flag josiah the disciple in the building was happening my bro so this is what we call then a bearish flag, right? So then in this case, we're expecting what the market to obviously plummet to the downside, break past the slow, and obviously keep on going down. Josiah, the disciple, my brother, Ness 100, Zakes in the building. My brothers are in the building. How are you guys doing? So that's exactly what we do have. But obviously with me, I don't trade patterns. I trade, um, you know, horizontals. So for me, I did spot and identify that the markets failed to break past that 33,420 level. So we're going to see the market, you know, pushing further down during the New York session. So what we are expecting right now during the New York session is obviously don't don't forget that we've got like this zone. So I call these zones like zones of reaction, right? So the zones of reaction, the zones... Um, where the market will break past these levels so you know you need to understand that these levels are different right so we've got these zones that we are we are we are looking at so we've got that zone of reaction so i do think that you know you u.s market open uh the market can come you know react around that level the green area go back up to test that zone that big zone 33 420 and that's what we can see uh happening in this particular market so we can see market plummeting down to the downside you know to obviously break past the lows that's what i'm personally looking for so if the market hasn't broken past the lows even on cpi we now know what we are expecting looking at price action right so looking at price action we can we can now tell that the markets are setting up for uh, hold up let me just fix this then yeah so the markets are setting up for like a big move to the downside so i do think that this is something that we can obviously look at you know on cpi so we can look to see the markets breaking past the lows to at least create even further lows because then we did test that weekly uh you know demand level or like supply level and um yeah that's what we can expect to see so if you are trading us 30 right now uh you know that's what i can tell you that we can see like further moves to the downside like we can see like really big moves to the downside uh, specifically because we have come back you know within the range that we had spoken about so yeah uh that's just about today's uh you know breakdown um, that you know i wanted to show you so i hope you guys took notes over there and i hope you guys got uh you know a thing or two to learn um so yeah my brother is in the building my brother's in the building um Josiah, my bro, uh, shout out to you, man. Uh, let me know, bro, when when you're when 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 we're operating that uh, that thing of ours. Just let me know. Just let me know. Oh my word, my eye is so itchy, guys. Like I I haven't worn my glasses in like the longest time, right? So my eyes tend to be extremely itchy, right? So they tend to be extremely itchy. So yeah that's exactly what we do have for today's live session i hope you guys really 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 learned a thing or two from what i just told you so i am excited for the year i am excited for the new things that we are dropping and we are literally like removing every single um you know what do they call them fly every fly that comes to our life to try and make noise we don't we don't take noise this year if you're a fly and you're making noise we're, we're going to give you a space in your time to make noise um 
in your own space and time, not in our, not, not at our expense. So that's why I removed every single nuisance that came to the live and tried to ruin what we are doing, right? So that's, that's the energy for the year. If you, if you become a fly, we put you back to the crap you come from. That's, that's exactly what we're doing. So that's what we do have, guys, for the New York session. So if you are trading, so in terms of entry, right, in terms of entry, uh, in terms of entry. So if you are looking to trade this session, if you are, I mean, if you trade US 30, then obviously you do trade this session. If you trade NAS 100, whatever, you do trade this session. For me, personally, this is what I'm, I'm, I'm practically, um, you know, looking at for this specific session that we do have, right? So um, that's what, that's what I'm looking at. So uh, I do see major, 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 um, you know, sales coming in the markets. And, you know, um, you guys should capitalize on uh, the sales that are coming. So we do have uh, that 33, 420 level that I spoke about. So wait for the market to obviously come spike around that level. So with the U.S. Open that happens, right? So U.S. Open uh, spikes quite a lot. A lot of people want to wanna trade the spike that comes with the session, but the real move happens after the spike. That's the real direction that happens. So you don't really have to trade at like 4.30 now. I see it's it's still 4.30, so you don't have to trade at 4.30. Uh, you, if, I mean, if the, if the move happens by that time, then you can obviously take it. But if 4.30 comes, spikes up that level, don't, don't panic and think that the market is changing direction. Remember that, you know, price action stays winning, and you know that's what we um that's what we want to that's what we want to focus on price action above everything and anything else that we are looking at right my bro i see you i see you um eddie i see you bro i see you i see you i see you so guys as i did say to you guys i'll be doing more of these live sessions um these will help you guys you know, uh, these will help you guys, you know, increase your skill set for the year 2023. Um, we don't care about people that make noise, honestly. Like if you if you're saying if you speak, we keep working and that's what we're doing. We stay working, you know, um, and to be quite honest, you know, I mean, I started trading like what, like like 2017. When was that? Was that 2017, 2023? That's almost like what eight seven years ago or whatever um our subs are subs are subs are so seven years ago and uh the people that were relevant with noise at that time and this is reality the people that were so loud and relevant at the time with uh regards to saying other people are scams other people are this or that in reality those people aren't aren't relevant anymore like those people are just not relevant you know what i mean like those people are wiped out of the game because of the evil hearts they have. They will come and pose as if they are trying to save you. But in reality, they are really just messing up your life and, you know, stopping you from learning what you're supposed to be learning, you know. I mean, you, you don't really make money from talking. You make money from working. And most of the time, these people invest their time and their energy in talking, instead of working and they don't realize that you know time is moving and the people that are working keep on working and it's only a matter of time before they they become irrelevant that's just that you you cannot argue with with results you cannot argue with the work that's evident you cannot argue with anyone's progress you just need to learn guys i think that's the biggest problem um you know about like a poor mindset if you've got a poor mindset you'll keep on you'll keep on talking evil about people you'll keep on wanting to you know you know what what this is guys if you feel as if what the other person is doing is impossible then you're gonna try and find ways to make other people feel the same thing you're feeling not realizing that you're you're indirectly telling us that you're saying what they're doing is impossible mainly because you've never experienced it yourself so that's 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 the kind of mindset these people have they just feel like what other people are doing is impossible and they are trying so hard to convince everyone else that this one can never achieve that kind of a level unless they are a scammer i mean how 
how are you scamming people by giving out value, by giving out information? And you even see when they now dive into personal things, things that have nothing to do with them. They'll come and say, hey, this one is driving that car on finance. This one didn't buy it cash. This one. I mean, those are personal things. Like, you know, those are really personal things. What, what do you have to do with the fact that someone bought their car cash or finance? I mean, they're still driving the car regardless. Whether you bought it cash or finance, you're still driving it. That means you're existing in the reality of being in that car every single morning and you're driving it. Whether you rented in that house or you bought that house, you're still doing it in real life. What do they have to show? What do they have to prove? So, you know, success starts in the head. That's what I'm trying to show you guys. And poverty also is a mindset. So if you keep on focusing on these things, you must know that there's, there's really not much of a progress you're going to make. But so you must stop with that mindset, guys. That's why I'm removing every single fly that comes, tries and, you know, gets clout on my lives and all of that nonsense. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys and that's what I wanted to show you. I hope you guys learned something. And just have a winner's mindset. Like in everything and all that you do, uh, you know, just have a winner's mindset. Don't don't look at all this noise that people are bringing out. Just look at the possibilities of what you can achieve in this trading niche. And that's all that's important. If you If you see that, you know, I'm doing this, rather learn from what I'm doing to try and do the same thing for yourself than you actually trying to find ways to prove that I'm not doing it. I mean, I'm doing it for real. You know what I mean? Like that person's doing it for real. That person, they they paying for that 30 million house they, they rented. They paying for that, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever noise you keep on hearing, those people are living that thing for real. So you don't want to now bring that energy into your mind and become the paparazzi of your life you know like i mean of trading because that's not going to do anything for you you know that's not going to do anything for you so we want people that are positive this year that are willing to grow themselves and you know just you can invest in whatever you can invest who, with whoever you know even if the guy that's saying i'm a scammer and they legit if you feel like they legit invest in them and grow yourself and train your mind and train you know like enhance the skill in trading just so you can become better at it if that means you must go with them go with them just so you can become better at it because at the end of the day you need to see the value you put into your career you know what i mean like that's the aim guys like grow yourself grow the knowledge about trading grow anything and everything that's gonna make you secure the bag it's not about who's legit and about who's not. I mean, at the end of the day, what does that do for you? Like, for you sitting at home watching this live right now, what does it have to do with you? The fact that I'm legit or not, what does it have to do for you? But you can choose to say, you know what, let me learn from what this guy is saying, you know. Let me learn from what he's trying to teach me. Right now, I just did a whole market breakdown, you know, like showing you guys exactly what I look at on a day-to-day -day basis. I trade for myself every single day you know and you can try and learn from that try and grasp the the thoughts and the concepts that i'm giving you technically and forget about everything else that you keep hearing people talk about that's 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 my piece for the year that's my piece i'm never addressing these kind of things ever again ever again i'm never going to talk about these things so I, I just I just want you guys to grow, you know. South Africa is very far from like being the you know, not even in the top five countries in the world that are good with trading, mainly because Tandinda, but you know, when you speak about these things, you speak about a country that that likes focusing on other people's businesses. And that's why we're not gonna see growth in our trading, you know. So it's really important that we focus a whole lot more on the skill rather than focusing on what other people are saying because that's really not going to do anything for you if i'm being honest you know and i'm done addressing that so that's exactly where we're going to sell uh you know according to the analysis that we did right now so we're looking at thirty-three thousand four twenty for sales 
and we are going to um, you know 33 to um, 32 830 that's where we are going that's where we're going that's where we are going you know we're focusing on the markets and what we can make out of um, out of the markets I'm, I'm very serious bro if you look at um, your popcorn rooms your whatever whatever you know like blogs that speak about people's businesses in the country those have most following than you know than um than you know pages that give value because people would rather feed their minds with what other people are doing than feed their minds with the value that the other people are providing and offering and that's just my piece you know Hella bullish on US 30 for now. Yo, you're more than welcome to buy, bro. You're more than welcome to buy. Um, I'm, I'm past that phase of arguing, uh, you know, biases. I just trade what my eyes show me. And right now, what I just showed you guys is exactly what I'm seeing. Uh, can we see the market breakdown? You just came in late, you know. We remain as fans instead of putting ourselves in the same position. That's so true, man. That's really true. That's really true. You know, so I'm done, guys, talking. Uh, that's that's just about it. Everything I wanted to say, I've said. And I hope you guys really learned from what I did say to you guys. And I hope you guys got the value that I was trying to give out on this live. So the market is currently going to our zone and our level that we had anticipated. So do wait for the markets to get to that specific area and level. Then you can look to sell to the downside as we have broken down the markets. And once again, guys, don't forget, like if you speak about like entering now in these zones you don't just enter because the market's um tapped on that level you wait for like you know specific uh formations and patterns that you use in your own personal trading so then you can enter after you've confirmed and concluded that the markets are doing exactly what you uh um, you know you aspire to see them uh do you know Kind of what did you say? Thirty three thousand four twenty. Yep, that's the level. So you can put it out on your trading view. Uh, you know, so you can put it out on your trading view. Just mark out that level, and then yeah. Uh, do you trade CPI? Yeah, man, I'm gonna trade CPI. Um, was really eye opening. Thanks, bro. You're welcome, man. You're welcome. Thanks for the wisdom, brother. Much love from Namibia. For coming to Namibia in the first quarter. So if you're from Namibia, we're we're coming to Namibia. My brother Jason Noah just joined. Shout out to you, bro. So we're coming to Namibia uh, in this first quarter of the year. So we're gonna do like beautiful things over there. So. Do make sure that you don't miss it for anything and you know um it's gonna be nice it's gonna be dope i'd like to think so you know that's let's 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 push and let's uh look forward to the trip so let me just log off guys because i want to go get ready to trade this move that i just broke down with you guys so i will be selling us 30 um in the new york session as i just broke down for you guys so hope you guys uh catch the same moves and the same trades that i do catch um and yeah uh you you south african guys motivate us this side of namibia so much inspiration shout out man thank you so much guys we're coming we're coming to namibia this year cannot wait to meet you guys so let me love and leave you guys thank you so much for joining my live and um you know i'm a vix trader don't worry don't worry notify us early so we budget there's a lot of namibians on this live there's a lot of namibians appreciate you family i'll let you guys know as soon as i'm coming that side so stay blessed and see you guys next time cheers